Step four in the final study is the feasibility study, which attempts to answer the question, what will it be? Economics, economic results for the selected mining project option will have an accuracy in the 10% to 15% range. Risk analyses and sensitivity studies are well supported by comprehensive studies of each modifying factor. Typically high confidence resources and high confidence reserves dominate, especially for the capital payback years and loan payback years. This is the chalk definition. The key words are a comprehensive technical and economic study of a selected option. The key reason to undertake a feasibility study is to obtain funding, to complete final designs, construction, mine commissioning works and other capital needs. For this reason, the feasibility study documents must be in a format and to a standard suitable for audit and assessment by the funding parties team of experts. In this slide, we have an example of the study requirements for procurement of debt funding. Alberto, I mean, what do you see as the, the, the state of play at the moment in terms of um, uh, exploration studies and exploration risk? Uh, is, it a, is it a buoyant time at the moment for the industry? Are there lots of projects happening? Uh, we saw, the, obviously, the increased demand for, uh, for the commodities. Uh, what's your reading of the, the status uh, and also being based here in Singapore? I guess, Tom, the, the question is, in today's market, uh, pre-Lehman's pre crisis, um, there was a lot of liquidity and capital, and people were um, investing um, quite easily into a lot of projects, um, anything from exploration into production. There, was, there seemed to be this scramble for resources. Um, Post-Lehman's, I think the, 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 a lot of the major banks have, have contracted. You know, there's, there's numbers like pre-Lehman's, about 20 banks globally were, were AA rated. And these days, um, it's probably less than 10 banks are, are, are double A rated um, from an um, investment point of view, a credit point of view. Um, yeah. So there's a tighter liquidity and, and people are more sensitive about investing in some of the blue sky um, projects that we saw pre-2008 when you know, gold price was going up and oil was going up to $150 a barrel. Um, so, so now the, the, the industry has become a little bit more sensitive. So something has to give and I have to say that the earlier end of the spectrum that um, uh, John was talking about scoping studies and exploration are the guys that get cut first um, when, when you work in a mining company or resource company um, in times like this when commodity prices are kind of not as strong the, the guys that usually um, suffer the most are the ones that um, uh, need an exploration budget or early stage the guys that are strong these days are the ones that are very close to production or have, I guess in that um, uh, slides that um, John, John Bisham showed, is a, a feasibility study. Um, you know, as, as an ex-banker, if you turn up with a, a solid feasibility study done by a reputable firm like CSA Global, um, you know, you, you're, you're halfway there. Um, uh, that's in this market. As I said, at pre-Lehman's, you, you probably didn't even need that. You could just tell someone, look, I've got a grassy field over there with potential resources and people would throw money at it 